UFC Fight Night on ESPN and ESPN Plus Saturday. Big main event. The Diamond in the rough. Well, we're getting rough and tough. He's ready to go. Dustin Poirier of American Top Team South Florida. Big show, big event. Always good to see UFC is back and they're doing big things. Dustin, thank you so much. Tell us about UFC Fight Night Saturday, ESPN, ESPN Plus, the big show. Yeah, man, it's going, uh, main card starts at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We're going live on ESPN. It's going to be a bunch of great fights, and I'm looking to get my hand raised. What does this fight mean to you, getting back into the fray, competing again, getting trying to get through this pandemic? Was it a lot more of a struggle after losing a fight or more of a struggle just getting back from the hip injury? How much did family, coaches, and even fans help you during the recovery process? You know, it was, it was huge. My family is everything to me. Um, spending that time uh, stuck at home on crutches with my daughter and my wife, you know, it meant a lot to me. It, got, uh, it opened up my eyes to what I'm really grateful for in life. So as much of a, of a curse of sitting on the sidelines, doing physical therapy, being in pain every day, it was a blessing as well because, you know, I, I realized what I'm fighting for and how much I have to be thankful for. Tell us about your opponent, Auckland, New Zealand's Dan Hooker, and two good fighters in this main event. What can you tell us about him? He's coming from a, a gym out in, in New Zealand that's producing two UFC champions now. Um, seems like a, a hotbed of, of fighters there uh, at, at his gym. He's on a three-fight win streak. He just recently won a main event um, against a veteran. And he's on his way up. You know, he cracked into the top five of the UFC lightweight division. And, uh, you know, I have to put an end to that. How do you put what a victory in Saturday means to you in your development, in your career? Dustin, you've been in so many big fights. You're a former champion. And what is it like, though, do you ever fan out a little bit? Like, you're going to be in the main event on ESPN, for God's sakes. <laughs> what is that like? Or, or do you just pretty much stay even keel? <laughs> Dustin is a multi-time performance of the night and by the night bonus recipient. He's been on big cards, big wins. What was training like for you for this fight, not only with COVID-19, but then coming off the injury as well? Um, you know, I, I was, it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be with the training. I thought the, uh, the lockdown was going to make it tough for people to be training, but American Top Team, um, you know, followed the the state's rules and, and went along with the uh, reopening process, but there's just so many good guys there on the mats, whether it's five people training uh, or 25 people training, it's the best guys in the world and there's so much knowledge to be bounced around the room and taught. So uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to be at a place with such high level fighters and coaches. 
What has American Top Team in South Florida, Coconut Creek, meant to you? It's uh, been a lot to my career. It's, it's helped me um, develop my skills as a fighter and uh, develop my understanding of mixed martial arts and the business side as well as the uh, sports side. Like I said, there's just so many guys on the mats um, who've been fighting for so long and have so much knowledge that there's not a question that I, I can't get answered. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for, for the team opening the doors for me back in 2012 and allowing me to move my whole life, you know, to South Florida and uh, be a full-time fighter under their roster. You're living in Louisiana. That's where you were born and raised. How much time did you spend in South Florida to get ready for this fight? For this one, I spent, um, I came out, first week of May. So I spent two months, you know, almost two months getting ready for this fight in Coconut Creek. Who helped you for this fight? What coaches, what trainers helped you to get ready for this one? So my, 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 same, my same group of guys. Mike Brown, Thiago Alves, Daya Davis, uh, you know, George Masvidal is a great training partner. Sabah Hamasi was a great training partner. And the list goes on for training partners because, like I was saying, the gym is, is full of so many high-level guys and uh, people willing to help each other. So those, those were my main training partners and, and coaches, though. Dustin will be main eventing UFC Fight Night on Saturday on ESPN, going up against a, a very good fighter, Dan Hooker. Hey, Dustin, have you been watching UFC on ESPN since UFC returned? to not only watch the fights and see how the presentation is done, but a look, a feel of fighting with no crowd and just what's going on and sort of trying to prepare for something like that. Yeah, I've watched every card that they've been back on. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what it's going to be like, the feelings of being walking into the empty uh, fight night. But I'm excited to find out. It's something new, it's something different. And I think... Uh, uh, um, have a great performance under those circumstances. You know, I'll be able to hear my corner. I'll be able, I won't be distracted by fans and, and stuff like that. So I'm excited to, to test it out myself. Has your recovery process gone as scheduled? Have you done it a little bit ahead of schedule? How did that go for you when you were recovering from your injury? Um, everything was right on track, right on schedule. I didn't want to push it. Uh, UFC has been very health and safety conscious, of course, during this time with their events, their shows. They're at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas again for this big show on Saturday, UFC Fight Night. What precautions or anything like that will you take leading up to that fight and on fight day? I mean, I'm not sure if I can take any more precautions than the UFC's already implemented. Um, you know, we're been tested as soon as we come in we have to get our temperature checked every morning we have credentials on the site at the hotel we're staying at um, nobody with credentials is allowed here everyone here has been tested uh, face masks are mandatory the whole time everything's sanitized after anybody touches it I mean they're doing everything that they possibly can so I, I feel good here a couple more questions we'll wrap this up and thank you so much for the time yeah. Dustin, how are friends and family dur doing during this pandemic? Everybody's good. You know, I've been fortunate and my family's been fortunate enough to, to not have any cases and everybody's still healthy and, and happy and working. So, you know, no complaints from, from my side. Have you been eating any Cajun food or Outback Steakhouse? Little uh, Australian food type to get ready for this fight. <laughs> No, man. All right, after the fight, so if you're in South Florida and we get this pandemic thing settling down, we're all going to have to go to Outback Steakhouse to celebrate the big victory. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Hey, Dustin, last thing for you. You and your wife's foundation, 
You guys are doing great things and tell me if I have this accurate too. During the pandemic, you guys have been also raising funds and getting food to hospital workers and those in the Louisiana area that are really getting into the fight of all this and all. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what you've all been doing? Yeah, we've, uh, we, we gave back a thousand meals to the first responders in the hospitals, the doctors, the staff, and um, we got a lot more stuff planned, you know. We did that a couple months ago uh, when, whenever things were really getting started and really, you know, the, the numbers were on the rise and uh, we plan on helping out some small businesses and, and doing a lot. We got a lot of things planned for the uh, times we're in, but my wife and the Good Fight Foundation, uh, we're always, always looking out and always trying to, uh, to plan ahead for what we can do in the community. And with the Good Fight Foundation, Dustin, do you think you might be doing something with the ring gear on Saturday, auctioning it off again and doing something like that? Yeah, but we, we're going to definitely auction everything off for the charity. Uh, we, uh, we have a small event for the charity going on in, in Lafayette, Louisiana, at a, at a um, locally owned restaurant, uh, where we're going to do from five to close, pay for everyone's meals, and um, they're going to play the fight. And it, it gives people a reason um, to go out and, and conversate, they'll have common ground to talk about something, uh, a fighter from their area and also boost boost uh, a local business and bring more awareness to, to the foundation and what we have going on. But we, we have a big school drive planned uh, coming up, and the money from this fight kit is going to go towards that as well. And that is awesome. The Good Fight Foundation doing great work, not only locally, not only nationally, but also internationally, helping with water to the children of Uganda. It's, it's a really... Great thing you're doing and your wife and all the people involved with that. And all the best Saturday, UFC Fight Night on ESPN, main event, the Diamond. Dustin's in the main event. And also, he's a full-time ninja. Thank you much, Dustin.